This is Hugh Middleton Primary School. We are in Clerkenwell in the borough of Islington. It's one of the most densely populated areas of the country and this is one of the most centrally located primary schools in London. It's very much a school that is part of this idea of two different Islingtons. There's a very affluent Islington with lots of young professionals, people who work in the city, and then there's also an incredibly um, deprived side of Islington where parents on low incomes um, really struggle to make ends meet. Me being here today is definitely a good example of the ripple effect because in the den they used to have a number of pictures from past community days so that really inspired me to, you know, do it and that's why I'm here today. Pardon, 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 yeah, pardon. I can only see it getting bigger, um, doing bigger projects, more people. It will show the kids that there are good people in the world and people do things voluntarily and hopefully that they'll carry on in their life, they'll want to do things as well as they get older. I think doing good is, is really infectious. Once you come away from a day like today, you feel really inspired, you go away, you tell everybody else about it, you tell your friends, they think that's a great idea, why don't we do it in our office? And then, you know, it spreads and spreads. I'm a vet. I'm a splash veteran. I'm a returnee. I'm a newbie. I'm a veteran. I'm a returnee. The reason I'm here today uh, is because this is my third Splash project and uh, I love it, it's a lot of fun. So I'm here today because I heard loads of people talking about doing a community day in the office, they've done it for a couple of years running now, it really inspired me. So it's really good to get to know people and to talk to everyone and meet different people from different areas in our company. Why are we here today? Um, well, honest truth is that I heard I was going to get a free jacket. Honest, I didn't really know what the uh, community day was all about. It's only when colleagues have come back and said what a fantastic day they've had, you know, I thought, oh, I'll give it a try this year. <laughs> it's a great thing to be involved in. Uh, working with people you, you, you don't normally work with. Um, it's a hard day, but really, really enjoyable. We should have a kind of domino effect on doing something little. One day, two days, we are here, we work. I think that is important. I think people get a lot more out of it. They have more ownership. It means more to them. Um, that something of them has gone into this day. So they've actually put some of their hard energy and their hard work into it. And so they walk away with um, a much greater sense of achievement than just giving some cash to a Just Giving account. We all like to give to charity, but sometimes giving money doesn't really, you don't really feel the effect. But if you actually come and do something and use your skills, um, you feel like you've actually put some real stamp or mark on what you're doing. It's real, it's tangible. For years I've always told myself I'll try and do some volunteering, get out of there, help. But it's just one of those things sometimes you just don't quite get around to finding somewhere to help, something to do. So it was amazing that Dunhills sort of helped to facilitate it and it's just great to get out there and do something. The last thing they see, oh, it's going to be about the children. I get a great kick out of doing things like this in the community and work it well, for the young kids. It's great to see their, their faces when we finish the project. I can't wait to see their faces when they come running in.
Good morning, sweetness. What's with the frown? We've dropped a stone and we hope the ripples have spread far and wide.